guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have an unboxing, you guessed it, by the title. So many people comment on my Gucci belt video recently and have asked me to talk about another belt. So I thought I'm going to order the belt, I'm going to do an unboxing, I'm going to see if I like it, and then if I like it, we can always do a comparison of the Gucci Mom one as well. So without further ado, it's time to unbox a little something from Valentino. I was just about to say I thought this was upside down, but it's not. I believe this is my first ever purchase from Valentino, and as with everything, I'm a year late to the party. I'm pretty certain my friend Josie has this belt or a similar version of the belt, and it looks gorgeous, goes with everything. It's one of those belts that everyone wears, and I feel like if you are in the market for a new belt, you're either gonna go Gucci Mon Mon or Valentino. So it was the perfect time for me to buy a Valentino one and see how this is. So, the box, cute little red box. They say the best things come in small packages. Ooh. Oh, I really like Valentino's branding, how it comes in like this little bag that's kind of like almost wickery. Very nice. And inside, which one did she go for? She went for the reversible belt. So, let me just take this off and then I can talk you through it. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so. I will leave the link below to where I bought this from and I will leave the link below to where you guys can buy it from because I'm sure with Black Friday coming up and all that jazz, things are going to be very busy for designer shopping. Now I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong because I pronounce everything wrong, but this is the Valentino Garifani reversible belt. So similar to how Gucci have reversible belts, you basically have the belt here and then you pop it on like so and i guess you just literally twist this bit round i'm guessing i'm playing i don't want to break it maybe not how on earth do i do this i feel like this just comes out but i really don't want to break the belt okay technical error i'm pretty certain that with the reversible belt you literally just have to push this out of here i will practice and then you literally just slot it in the side and it basically has two belt loops with it so that you can wear it brown, the brown side, or so you can wear it the black side. Um, it's weird because I'm so used to rounded belts and this is square at the end, which is a bit different, but I think it's such a nice kind of blunt look. Um, and it's got the branding inside saying like the scripted Valentino made in Italy. I got a size 70, um, which I hope is gonna fit me, but if not, I'll just get some more things popped in it. Then in terms of the buckle, it's actually quite lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all in comparison to other designer belts. And it doesn't have that kind of brushed antique effect that some of the other designer belts have. I know the Gucci ones, you can either get them that are like super shiny or you can get the brushed one. Mine is brushed. But this is actually nice and shiny, but not too like in your face bling. The belt itself does feel quite thin leather wise, but I don't know, it's just different to other belts I've seen because of the squareness. I'm just so used to holding like really thick, quite heavy leather belts that this is really different, but I guess it feels nice to be lightweight because maybe you don't want to wear something heavy all the time. It's like a workout. So in terms of the logo, it's got the famous Valentino logo on there. So if you are someone who's wanting to maybe make, you know, a really casual outfit, have that premium look, then this is for you. If you're someone that likes that kind of brand name in your face, then this is for you. I do love things that are heavily branded. Um, but I think this is done in a really subtle, lovely way. You can get this belt in loads of different variations, which I will link below. But I thought the reversible one was best because you are literally getting two belts in one. The brown side and the black side. I personally love brown belts because I feel like they go really nice with more muted tones. So like creams and whites and then black just goes with everything. So I'd probably wear like black with black jeans and a full black outfit, and then I'd probably wear the brown over like a white dress. This would probably be my summer to fall color of the belt. I just, the more I look at the gold, the more I think it's such a beautiful shade of gold. I just think it's so nice, but it is just very lightweight. So first impressions in terms of the reversibility of this belt, even though it definitely is reversible, it's definitely not as easily reversible as the Gucci one, which actually has a compartment that you literally twist. I've done a video on that, so I'll leave that below. This one, you literally have to pull it out, um, which I feel like it could break the leather a little bit, but also because this is brand new, I don't want to be too harsh with it, but you basically just pop this out, push it, and then you actually manually pop the belt on the other side. So it's a bit more of like a, 
manual task to do to make this belt reversible rather than a quick flip, but the option is there. And like I say, you get two belts in one. So basically, that is my whistle stop tour unboxing of the Valentino belt. If you want to do first look, first impressions, and I will report back and I will probably do a video showing you guys how to style it, maybe show you some outfits um, and see how I get on. Or do let me know if you would like a direct comparison with the Gucci belt. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will leave everything linked below.